Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today we're going to have a look at this frame and the components I'm going to use to build a quad for the DJI FPV system. So this is the iFlight DC5 frame. About 40 quid for the frame. As you can see I've already built it and I've already put the air unit inside and the camera's fitted in the front. So, these arms are able to come out with the removal of just you, uns you slacken that screw and take that one out and you can pull the arm out. Well that's what, oh sorry you have to take that screw out as well. So they're not that, so them three screws and you can pull an arm out and replace it and the arms are available separately. Which is why I like the frame. I also like the fact that it's obviously a dead cat style and the props are going to be well out of the shot. So this is where the air unit fits. You get the TPU printed pieces for there. These come with the frame and obviously you get the holders for the antennas. They just push in. You've just got to be careful when you push the antennas in to make sure they're clear and they're not going to pull out. So make sure they're nice and tightly in there. The camera's fit in the front held with two screws. I've changed it because if you have it with two screws, you can only have one of three angles. So I've decided just to put it in with one. It's absolutely fine. It's not going anywhere. One screw in each side. And then, of course, I can adjust my angle. So if you look at the carbon fibre pieces here, inside there, they have a piece of t uh, TPU piece that pushes in so you can get... It fit onto there that should stop jello and obviously the cable runs under your stack so the stack goes in here that cable runs underneath comes with two silicon pads which is decent the fit and finish of the frame is really nice and it's you can see it's a strong frame it's going to take a bit of a beating i believe i have seen a video so well this arm is a weak point there but let's see how it goes when I crash it because I no doubt I will so we're going to use this frame and we're going to put these motors on so these are the thing 2306 I believe these ones are 2306 2450 kV and we're going to run this on 4S obviously I'm not going to you can Obviously, if you've got uh, this stack, I think if you've got a nine volt regulator on your stack, you can run it on six S. But if the regulator fails, your camera's going up in smoke. So I'm probably just going to fly on four S. Not really want to take that risk. So yeah, I like these motors. I've got a lot of time for these iFlight Zing motors. I think they're very nice. I've fitted them on a couple now. They feel nice and smooth. So we've got them. We've got the XM Plus, which is the one that you get from Unman Tech in the UK. I like these, these are £9.50, I've never had a problem with them, I've got a lot of these in my models now. I should say that the motors and flight controller came from Mantec, and just to let you know, these are actually, this actually came to £3 less than if I'd have bought it from a Chinese site. The frame came from Quadcopters UK, and exactly the same again, well this frame was actually a pound less than it is in the Chinese site, and good value for money I, I, and I obviously buying in the UK I get them in a couple of days time free shipping if you spend over 100 quid and then we're going to use the Mamba F4 stack that I've used in a couple of builds so I've got another bit video coming up that's going to be showing you the fly and with that one I bought the Kakuti F7 so I bought that one I'm going to plug it straight in this one we're going to wire this we're going to wire the air unit up separately so we're going to put the air unit in here there's only four wires you need to connect on the air unit you need to connect a positive and a negative battery feed so you need a v bat pad or you can just go straight on tvsc here and just run the wires off there but it must be v bat and obviously make sure you're running on less than four um, or under and then you need an rx and tx port so you need a uart port and that's simply to get the battery voltage from the board to the air unit to display any goggles and that's all you need to do the six wires on there the other two wires are only if you're using the um controller that comes with this so all this thing i'm going to have to do now apart from that is wiring the three wires for the i've got four wires to put on this board for the camera for the air unit and three wires obviously from the c and that's it and obviously the escs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fit this together I'll get the stack and I'm not going to show you soldering that and I'll put the stack in and I'll show you when I've got the top off before I put the top on so I can show you where the wires go for the um, air unit so it shouldn't be that bit of bill so let's pause it there okay welcome back so we've now finished it 
I know I was going to show you before I'd fitted this on to show you the wiring, but I will explain why in a second. So this is it completely built up. So the only thing I've done on Betaflight is turned the UART 6 on, which I'll explain in a minute why. Uh, Shepard D-Shot 600, adjusted the pits to something like I think it flies like, so it doesn't, I've not got any oscillations. And I've had a very quick flight just outside the house, just to make sure there was no wobble or anything in the camera. At the end of the video I'm going to show you a quick 30 second or 40 second flight so you can see what it looks like through the goggles and what it looks like through the camera recorded onto the SD card. So it was quite a simple build, I brought my wires all up through there, I have brought the air unit wiring underneath and up here and I've left them long on purpose because I'm probably going to do some frame thrust so when other frames come out for this system I'll review them and tell you, let you know what I think of them. So. I have made it so I can hot swap it, so everything is going to be able to come out. You can see the air unit's powered up there. And that's how easy the build was. So, the only problem I had is, so let me just go through this quick with you. So I wired mine up, so you forget about the fact that it's anything special, so if you haven't bought their, their transmitter, you do not need it. So all I did was went into ground, S bus and 5 volts for my receiver. I'm running this on an XM Plus and then, or an XM Plus equivalent. And then all you have to do is with your camera, the air unit, is connect the red and black wires to a VC on ground. So, in other words, I use this side actually. So, a battery voltage, so a VBAT voltage and a ground. And then the other two things I use UART 6 and I connect it up the TX and the RX and from the unit itself you do it the opposite round so the RX goes to the TX and the TX goes to the RX <coughs> excuse me and then you turn the UART 6 on which I mentioned before now when I did that I had no battery voltage so I couldn't I didn't have any battery voltage at all and then I messed around a little bit, went on the internet, had a read about it, and some people were saying with certain boards it doesn't work on certain boards, which I found a bit strange. Anyway, another, what I did was I connected it back up to the DJI Assistant and found out that the firmware update, did the firmware update on the goggles and the air unit, and it now works absolutely fine. Really was a quick build, took me about an hour and a half, maybe, some, maybe a lot, a little bit longer, and that's messing around with the wires, probably two hours because I had to mess around with everything to try and get it to work. But now it's all good. So it's all completely set up on beta flight and I've had a quick fly of this outside. It was just a quick flight. I had a quick nah, 30 seconds each. And I, you, the video will be coming up at the end of this so you can see what the difference is between the two. So it connected up to the goggles. The only thing I don't like is this flipping cable seems to come out all the time. Now whether it's just mine or I'll probably look at getting a different cable for anyway. I've tried, I said before I did this video, I've tried to set it up looking through here and you can't, there's just no image you can get, you can't get the image to look anything like what it looks like through there. Kind of a little bit there I suppose. Can't get it to focus either. I think we'll be here all day trying to do that. But you're going to see from the video footage at the end of here what it looks like through the goggles. So one part through the goggles had focus mode turned on which makes the outer edges of your picture go fuzzy if you like in the centre sharp and then it's recording in 1080 60 frames a second from the air unit itself. Two SD cards, pressing the button on the top of the goggles here, the, the record button will turn it on and record on both. So what do I think of this? I like the frame, obviously because it's built the way you get pops out of shot. It was a dead easy build, these motors seem really nice. I'll, I'd probably buy these again. I'm running these on the Dal Pro, uh, I think these are 54, uh, yeah, 5040s. And obviously I'm running these on the Tattoo Funfly 1300. Uh, it's absolutely fine on that. Weight wise, it's not too bad at all, it's a nice weight. It seems to fly really nicely. And yeah, I like it. I will be reviewing, as I said before, other frames coming up. I've got the fly wool coming up. Now the fly wool isn't just going to be a hot swap because I want to put, this will be built separately so I'll have two of these that I can swap bits out of. The fly wool will be built with different motors and uh, I've got the Kute stack for that one. So. But 
yeah i'm happy with this i love the goggles i love the system and i actually love this frame this was not including the camera and everything this was quite a cheap build it was on about 145 quid uh, not even that though it's probably 135 and then obviously you've got if you wanted to buy an a unit be looking at two seven you'd be looking at the 175 quid that's the killer you can buy the camera and a unit separately but i will warn you don't just go out and buy a camera and an a unit expect to come up because they don't come with the cables they don't come with the back of the camera which is important you only get the front of the camera so if you've had a crack you can replace that but if you buy a camera and buy an a unit don't think you can just save yourself a bit of money because it's not going to work so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day and um, enjoy the little bit of footage that's coming up and i hope you think it's great i certainly do so this is the video footage taken directly from the goggles so this is exactly what i see when when you've got them on absolutely awesome i hope you agree and it's a game changer for me total game changer And this is the footage directly from the air unit to the SD card recorded in 10 xp 6 frame second. I think it's fantastic also. Over and all, just a great package. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.